First things first, I want to let you know that I love you. Today is finally the day we've been talking about for so long, since we were sophomores in college, after about a month of dating, because we're crazy. <laughs> we're three years into this thing and about to start it forever. I've always prayed to God for strength to be the best son, brother, and friend, and now it can be my prayer that God makes me the best husband I can be. Sinclair is the single most supportive, understanding, and true friend I have ever had in my lifetime. I want to thank Sinclair for always having my back. I cannot wait to see what your future holds for you and Duke. You are my soul sister, and I will always be there every step of the way. I know Dan is looking down on both of you amazing souls right now, smiling ear to ear, seeing the love in the room tonight. When I was younger, my mom told me to find someone like Dan, because he makes her laugh. Because when you have a life partner who makes you laugh, you make all of life so much easier. And that's what you've done for me. So I consider it fate that in the summer of 2018, at summer camp, I scrolled on Instagram and saw a picture of a really cute mug. <laughs> and there was also a guy holding it. <laughs> now, three years and 37 coffee mugs later, I am about to marry the cute mug guy. You wrote me a quote a long time ago in a journal you gave me. It says, in all the world, there is no heart for me like yours. In all the, the world, there is no love for you like mine. I'm honored to read that back to you in this sitting today. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I find it, I find it. I can it. I can't get words out. I can't get words out. You look so <laughs> You look incredible. <laughs> and we're doing the damn thing. <laughs> this chapter of life that has uh, been one of the strangest and one of the hardest chapters ever is finally coming to an end. But with this new one, I get to walk with you into the next chapter and the rest of this book. We can finish together forever hand in hand. Let's do this dang thing, Sinclair. <laughs> So I met Duke in fourth grade, and in comes this bear of a fourth grader. <laughs> I just can't really explain how much you mean to me, dude. You've always been a dreamer, and I think we connect wholeheartedly on that. But as we've grown up, I've noticed you change what you dream about. And most recently, I've seen you start to dream about love, about companionship, and about this marriage especially. I am beyond excited for you two in your future and watch you guys grow together. There is no ma better man suited to be marrying my best friend. You guys were truly made for each other. Seeing y'all together just warms my heart because I know that y'all, y'all's love is so hard that you can't fight it. And seeing y'all join together and create this bond makes me so excited that I, I get to be a part of it from now on. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> Let's party. <laughs>
I'd like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Duke Collins. 